Welcome back to the Lexi's Leukemia channel. Today, it's time to start packing for a vacation. Open the door, Lexi. What's outside the door? My suitcase. My suitcase. My suitcase. We ordered Lexi some luggage for our suitcase. vacation. My suitcase. Go grab it. I'll help you. So you saw in the clip right after our intro that we got a special delivery today. And we are so excited to be going on vacation to Chicago this year. We're going to drive to Chicago. It's about four, four and a half hours from where we live over here by St. Louis. And we are going to drive to Chicago and do all the things. We got a city pass so we can do all of the museums for Lexi as well as the Shed's Aquarium. And my husband and his side of the family are huge Cubs fans. I come from the land of the Cardinal fan, but Lexi is a huge Cubs fan. And she is very excited to go to her first game at Wrigley on that Thursday. The Cubs are going to play the Padres. So we all had to get decked out in our Cubs gear and I'm making Lexi a sign that says my first Cubs game. So maybe, who knows, we'll end up on the TV at Wrigley, right? Yeah. So we're gonna do all the fun things. We're gonna be in Chicago for a week. So what did you get in the mail today? My suitcase. Lexi needed some actual luggage. She had this one little old zipper one that used to be her Nana's and it kind of had some sentimental value, the blue one from her trip to Florida when we went to Florida last year, but she needed some actual luggage that will last her a while. And the bonus is this luggage came with a backpack and a lunchbox, which we could probably use the lunchbox for toiletries. So she can use that as her backpack and lunchbox for the next school year. So we killed two birds with one stone and that's one less thing we have to purchase come the start of school. Yeah. So let's open this thing up. So this is the luggage that Lexi got. It's a five piece luggage set. And of course it had to be all decked out in unicorn because that's what Lexi loves. So, all right, Lexi, let's open this thing up. Can you get it? <laughs> Maybe lay it down and do it that way. Unboxing your luggage. We got this. I just searched online and the best deal I found was Macy's online was having a sale. We don't tend to buy tons of stuff from Macy's because it's very expensive and you can usually get it cheaper elsewhere. However, they were having a really good sale and so we got this entire luggage set for under $100. So you cannot beat that price. Go ahead and pull the plastic off. All right, so we got all the plastic off and now Lexi is going to unzip this. It's a hard case. So that is good. All right, let's see all this stuff in here. Awesome. You wanna undo that and show everybody the luggage tag? Okay. Yeah, look at all this. So it's got extra zippered space right here. That is her neck pillow. I'm very excited for that. You wanna try it out? See how it works, it's just your size. Oh, and it's nice and squishy too. It's perfect. So we've got this zippered side. Undo that. Oh, this is so cute. Here, let's take it out. All right, so we just got the unicorn luggage tag out. So basically it's just got a place for the name and address and everything in there. So that's perfect. We'll fill that out. All right, let's see the rest, Lex. So unzip the backpack. I'm guessing your lunchbox is inside the backpack. This looks like a really durable backpack too and comfy. That's awesome. Ooh, and here is the lunchbox that it came with. Very cool. So this is a really awesome lunchbox. 
about the same size as her other one, maybe a little taller on the size, which is good. And her other one did not have a front zipper pouch like this one does, so that's perfect for putting snacks in. It also didn't have a side pouch for the water, so we always had to put our thermos container of water inside the backpack, so that's going to be perfect. Yeah. All right, so let's see this. Perfect, and it's got this little front thing. All right. So awesome. And then you can store toiletries and other stuff in there. And then it's got this. So we put all your clothes on this side. And then you can close it like that. So they don't go rolling around in there. And then you can put stuff in here too. Like we can use one side for your clothes. And then maybe we can use the other side for suitcases. And then here is the telescopic handle. We discovered it's easier to do the handle on the floor. So you just have to have it just like that in the upright position and press this little button. Now the brand on this luggage is Travelers Club. I'll see if I can link the Macy's link that I used. It's really cool. It's got this neat unicorn design on it. Like I say, it's a hard case. And then it's got these wheels that spin 360. So no matter which direction Lexi's going, she doesn't have to drag it behind her. She can have so that is it for this little portion of the video, Lexi's luggage. So throughout the next week, this vlog is just going to be bits and pieces of us packing and getting ready for Chicago. So we are going to see you in a little bit when we have some more packing stuff to share. So bye for now. Bye -bye. Well, it's a new day and we are continuing on with our week of packing vlog. And so I'm in my work outfit. I've got to work the five days leading up to our vacation in the evening. So I'm getting as much packing done ahead of time during the day as I can. So that way, whenever we leave, I'm not scrambling. We're leaving Monday uh, mid-morning. We can't check into our hotel till 3. It's about a four-hour drive to Chicago. And then we're leaving Friday after we check out and driving home. So we'll be there for five days, which is four nights. So I want to show you how I pack up Lexi toiletries. Lexi's skin post chemo, very sensitive. We stay away from all the things, no chemicals, no parabens, phthalates, sulfates, pegs, you name it, we stay away from it, dyes. So this is her dye free, chemical free of all the things um, shampoo. And I just put them in these little uh, containers you can get at Walmart, these travel containers because we need to use products we know are not going to break out her skin. Um, and then I have one for her conditioner, and then I have this one for her mouthwash. Her mouthwash is actually like the kids version that comes in the squeeze container, and then you do it to the fill line. So what I have found with that is you can measure out that and it equals out to 10 milliliters on a medicine dosing cup. So you can just put enough in here that you'll know you'll have enough doses and a few extra in case you spill. And that's what she's going to use for mouthwash. And then for her toothbrush, we've got her one of these little travel things. And then we just replace the flossers um, the next time we travel. So basically, she does a really good job of brushing and using mouthwash twice a day. And then at the end of the night, she flosses before she does the mouthwash after brushing to dislodge anything else that might be stuck. We're trying really hard to save those teeth until she has her procedure this summer where they're gonna put her under and do all the things and hopefully save her baby teeth until her adult molars come in. Um, so we are taking medicine with us. We have dye-free Benadryl. We don't like using um, chemicals. We don't have to or drugs, but She's had some allergic reactions lately, so we've had to keep that on hand. So we at least make sure that it's dye-free. And then we also have dye-free children's Motrin. Um, we prefer Motrin instead of Tylenol. Um, and Motrin helps with like leg aches and pain, but we also have her magnesium spray that will help if her legs cramp. Um, she can't handle heat well and she can't handle walking like lots of tons of physical activity i mean i know we did therapy over the summer somewhat physical therapy but she just cannot handle that stuff well so we're bringing her stroller and then if she gets tired of walking or she needs a break or she's getting overheated 
then she can be in the stroller. So what? She's going to be in first grade. I really don't care. My kid is a special needs kid who went through heck and back for three years. So if she needs a stroller and we get funny looks, so be it. But I'd rather her be comfortable and enjoy the vacation rather than be tired and lagging all the time. So that is what I do for Lexi's toiletries. Um, they're in this little cute makeup bag, this old makeup bag of mine. And so basically she has everything she needs right in here. And then she's all set. Um, I should mention her toothpaste. Uh, the toothpaste we're using is this brand Risewell I found. I think I told you before about how we're switching to Hydroxy Appetite. So this is what she's going to use for toothpaste instead of like the little travel size because we're staying away from fluoride since I found out that can be considered a neurotoxin studies are coming out. So we're going to try this Hydroxy Appetite. It's free of pegs and all the things. And so we're going to see how this brand works out for her teeth and maybe it can help save her teeth. So let's jump over and see how we pack up Lexi. We are in Lexi's bedroom and we are going to get ready to pack up what we can of her suitcase. I still have some laundry to do, so she'll have some clean underwear and some pajamas, because obviously she's been wearing pajamas each night to bed, so she wants to take her favorite and comfy pajamas. So we will pack those later, silly goose. But we do have all of her outfits picked out. So let us show you what's going on. So I have all these outfits laid out, some extras and also for her whole day. And now here are all the books. So here's the one bed and this hair tie. That this one and this one. This one and this one. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one and very good and then we got this one down here so basically what we like to do for Lexi is let me show you so for Lexi's outfits what I like to do is have an outfit with what she's gonna be wearing the full outfit including socks and undies and then the bow and the hair tie that goes with it because she loves Jojo Siwa bows and she loves wearing her hair up in different styles with bows and it makes it get less tangly at the end of the night if we leave it up. So I have one outfit per day plus a couple of extras and then I put each outfit with all the coordinating accessories into a Ziploc bag so it's already right there ready to go and we have enough for each day. And then I have her swimsuits laid out, all of her swimsuits um, we'll go in a separate bag along with her sun hats for when she goes out to the pool. We have to be really concerned about um, sun exposure for her because the chemo makes her skin more susceptible to skin cancer. So we use really clean mineral sunscreens, um, again, free of all the things. And we make sure we at least use an SPF 50 on her and we reapply often. Our hotel does have a pool, it's an outdoor pool, and so we will be spending some time there when we're not doing other things. So we wanna make sure we are good there. And then I've got her this little thing that we used at the beach last year. It is like a terry cloth sort of towel material, and it zips up in the front, and so it's just like extra. So whenever you're, uh, done drying off you can wear that to and from the pool and then we're also bringing her life jacket because she will be taking swim lessons this summer she hasn't yet and then we've got a couple of her favorite beach towels that we can reuse depending upon how often we go swimming so that is how we like to pack up Lexi so let me get this going and then I'll show you what it looks like when we're done all right, so let me show you what I've got going on in here. So on this side, we've got all of Lexi's swimsuits and sunscreens, um, her extra sunglasses, her sandals, and her towels. 
And then in the top here is where we've got our masks in case we need them anywhere, in case we feel a little uncomfortable due to Lex. And we've got all the extra stuff, um, her toothbrush and extra hair ties, her hairbrush just in case. And then on this side, I put all of her bags of clothes. We'll still have to put underwear in each one when that's out of the laundry. And then I will have one bag that's rolled up just for her uh, pajamas. So she'll have enough pairs of pajamas for each night. And then her toiletries. And then her Nikes, tennis shoes for all the walking we're going to do. And her suitcase is all packed up. So now to see if I can actually get it closed. All right, so let's see if I can actually get this thing closed. Hopefully we're not shaking the camera too much. It's sitting on the bed. I think so. Watch out. All right, look at that. We got it all closed. And it's got her little luggage tag on it. So... She will be all set. So then the last thing I have to put in there then will be uh, the day we leave. I'll put her toothpaste in there because right now I only have the one tube I had to order it online. And then after um, that, I really can't think of anything else that we'd have to put in there. To be honest, I think that's pretty much all set for her. That's her toiletries and everything. So... It's nice to say that she's all packed minus those couple things and once I get her laundry done today, the rest of that's gonna go in there and she will be all done. So now all I have to do is get myself packed. My husband, he's like always a last minute packer. I like to pack ahead minus toiletries and whatever else I'll need. So come on up here, Lex. What do you wanna tell everyone? Are you excited about your vacation? Yes. Well, come on up here. You're excited to go to Chicago? Yes, yes. And do all the fun things? Yes. And share it with everybody? Yes. All right, so what do you want to tell everyone? Subscribe and hit the 